this is Jared, Victor Kilo 3 Bravo Lima, and today I'm going to demonstrate the IC7610's transmit performance as it is straight out of the box. Um, I'm using some special equipment, I'm using um, a clean RF sampler so I can get a, a sample of my transmitted signal. I'm using an SDR play RSP2, which is a, an SDR, basically a, a little SDR box. And I'm also using a Bird 8201 dummy load, which is quite a nice commercial grade dummy load, um, good up to 2.5 gigahertz. So there's some, there's some good, good equipment there. Now I'm not going to be doing your standard two-tone test. Um, I don't really believe in them. I don't think they give a good overview of a transmitter's real performance, and I think they're very easy to fake and skew. So what, I, what I've done here is I've actually made a recording, and it's gonna be the same recording each time. Um, and I'm going to vary basically the transmit bandwidth uh, and, and you'll, you'll see right on the screen um, in front of you what, what the output looks like. Now, I'll give you a bit of a spoiler alert. At full power, um, it's about reasonably about 30 decibels down um, from, from, from your transmitted bandwidth. Now, that's not the ARRL um, style measurement. That's, um, that's uh, a DBC. They call, well, at the ARRL call it um, IMD3 um, based on peak. Um, I'm doing based on uh, uh, the peak tone in my voice. So basically add add six decibels on if you want the ARRL's version um, or subtract six decibels if you want my version when you're comparing. So yeah, it's about 30 dB. It's, it's, it's good. It's what you'd expect for a 12 volt radio. So anyway, let's get started. Um, just to, to show you quickly, power output is set to 100 watts and TX bandwidth is set to wide. The compressor is actually off at the moment. So we, we'll, we'll, do, um, we'll do the three TX bandwidths, um, wide, medium and narrow. And then we'll do it with the compressor on, wide, medium and narrow. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Here we go. This is wide, no compressor. Hey everyone, this is Jared, Victor Kilo 3, Bravo Lima. Just want to say thank you to everyone who's watched and shared the videos and subscribed to the channel. It's um, been a real pleasure to bring you the content and I've really enjoyed myself. Today I'm just doing a quick overview of the um, IC7610's transmitter performance. Um, we're using an SDR Play 2 as the, the sampler, a Bird 8201 as the dummy load, and um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching. Please, please subscribe. I give me a kick every time, and please comment. I love the comments. It's, it's so great meeting hands from all over the world. BK three BL out. So that was wide at one hundred watts. Let's go to narrow. I mean, sorry. Let's go to mid. Hey everyone, this is Jared Victor Kilo three Bravo Lima. Just want to say thank you to everyone who's watched and shared the videos and subscribed to the channel. It's um, been a real pleasure to bring you the content and I've really enjoyed myself. Today I'm just doing a quick overview of the um, IC7610's transmitter performance. Um, we're using an SDR Play 2 as the, the sampler, a Bird 8201 as the dummy load, and um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching. Please, please subscribe. I give me a kick every time and please comment. I love the comments. So hopefully you could see that that was actually um, probably I'd say a little bit cleaner on the narrow. The icons do tend to, to run a little wide when they're when they're set to wide, um, but they give great sound too. So I, I think it's fine to use that uh, on you know on a on a, a band that's not full. Um, by all means, use wide. Enjoy the audio fidelity. It sounds fantastic. The audio you're hearing, and I don't know if you're hearing it too well. That's actually the demodulated audio coming out of the RSP2. It's not the monitor on, on the IC7610. So that's actually what the transmitted signal sounds like. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's go to narrow. Hey everyone, this is Jared, Victor Kilo 3, Bravo Lima. Just want to say thank you to everyone who's watched and shared the videos and subscribed to the channel. It's um, been a real pleasure to bring you the content and I've really enjoyed myself. Today I'm just doing a quick overview of the um, IC7610 transmitter performance. Um, we're using an SDR Play 2 as the, the sampler, a Bird 8201 as the dummy load, and um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching. Please, please subscribe. I give me a kick every time.
time and please comment. I love the comments. It's so great meeting Pam from all over the world. BK3BO out. So there you have it. That's um, basically with the wide, narrow and, sorry, wide, medium and narrow um, from the IC7610 at 100 watts. Now I'll show, I'll just show you with the compressor on. Sorry, you've got to hit that on first and then go to it. And the stop's actually three, so I'll put it back to three. This is wide with the compressor on. Hey everyone, this is Jared, Victor Kilo 3, Bravo Lima. Just want to say thank you to everyone who's watched and shared the videos and subscribed to the channel. It's um, been a real pleasure to bring you the content and I've really enjoyed myself. Today I'm just doing a quick overview of the um, IC7610's transmitter performance. Um, we're using an SDR Play 2 as the, the sampler, a Bird 8201 as the dummy load, and um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching. Please, please subscribe. I give me a kick every time and please comment. I love the comments. It's so great meeting hands from all over the world. BK3BL out. We'll go to mid. Hey everyone, this is Jared, Victor Kilo 3, Bravo Lima. Just want to say thank you to everyone who's watched and shared the videos and subscribed to the channel. It's um, been a real pleasure to bring you the content and I've really enjoyed myself. Today I'm just doing a quick overview of the um, IC7610 transmitter performance. Um, we're using an SDR Play 2 as the, the sampler, a Bird 8201 as the dummy load, and um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching. Please, please subscribe. I give me a kick every time, and please comment. I love the comments. It's, it's so great meeting hands from all over the world. BK3BL out. And now let's quickly go to Narrow. So basically, I'd rate it as a, you know, quite capable 12 volt radio. I mean, it's it's not up there with the radios that have 50 volt finals, but it's it's what I expected. Uh, you know, um, 30 dB or better, as long as you don't do anything silly with it. Um, now, this is part one of the series um, because I want to show you something really cool, really quickly, uh, and then you'll understand why it's part one. So we'll just put things back to the way I want them. We'll go to wide and we'll turn the power right down. Now, unfortunately, the audio is going to be a bit softer from, from my um, RSP2, but have a look at what you see on the screen. It's really, really clean. Really clean. I haven't done the maths exactly, but I, and I will. But you know, that's really clean. Um, and the interesting thing is, as you bring the power up, it still stays clean. So there is going to be a sweet spot. Thanks for watching. Please, please subscribe. Give me a kick every time, and please comment. I love the comments. It's so great meeting hands from all over the world. BK three BL out. So basically. You know, if you if you lower the power, if you don't run it flat out, you are going to put out a cleaner signal, and it's going to be quite a competitively clean signal too. So if you're lucky enough to have one of the amplifiers that doesn't require much drive, there's a good chance that um, that you're going to be able to put out a terrific signal even from a 12 volt radio. So I give this a real thumbs up, and I'm going to be doing some more tests on the TX performance. Um, please give me feedback on my methodology. Tell me if I'm doing something wrong, if I'm doing stuff right. And uh, yeah, I, I plan to make available some screenshots with the settings. I plan to make available, um, you know, the recorded audio so that people can, um, you know, load it into their own SDR Play software if they've got it. You don't need the, the dongle to, to listen to the audio. 
Um, and yeah, there's there's a lot of fun to be had here with the IC7610 and its transmitter performance. And we haven't even touched on on the the, the real potentially game changing feature, which is hidden away in the quick menu here, which is drive gain. Stock at fifty percent. I am really really interested to see what that does. So there you go, guys. It's um it's definitely. On you know, it, it's, there's no surprises there. It, it looked well controlled. It wasn't all over the place. Um, I'm really happy with it. Basically, it, it's it's what I expected with with more, um, definitely with more. And, and I think those people who own the uh, own low drive amplifiers, um, they're really going to love this radio and be able to put out a fantastic signal um, without without uh, resorting to pre distortion. So there you go. Thanks very much for watching, and stay tuned for the next. Um, Next parts in, well, the next parts in this series. Uh, VK3 Bravo Lima saying 73 for now.